Welcome to Twisted Stitchers, Gay Boo's Knitting Show. I'm Sarah with an H. And I'm Jennifer with one N. And we're your co-hosts every month. But there's more of us. We're part of the k Knitting Show Collective. Yes, when we have five Mondays in a month, uh, Mark with a C takes the swing shift. Be warned, he's a little more rock and roll in his knitting than we are. He uses a lot of black yarn and pom-poms, but he's a nice guy. And you can catch his knitting show at this time slot on the 30th. Mark your calendars and listen, if you dare. So what's new on the show this month? I think we should go back to last month first. Let's remind our listeners of all our crazy adventures. We had our first remote. A remote is when a KBOO team records you out in the wild, live and in person. We were at the Good Ombre. That's Ombre with an O. It's a new knitting store in Selwood. Four people came to our show, and there were three random shoppers. It was packed. I feel confident we have new listeners this month, so I want to give a shout out to Colleen and Jennifer with two N's. Thanks so much for tuning in. Speaking of names, I love that name. Good Ombre with an O. It's a great name for a knitting store. Their name actually has a funny story. It's hysterical. Remember when our president said people were bad hombres? That's hombres that start with an H in Spanish. But as we knitters know, there's no bad hombres that starts with an O. So you see, good hombre is a play on words. Isn't that a clever pun? It is clever. And too funny. Plus, I respect the good hombre owners for telling people where they stand. Yes, naming their store Good Hombre is a bold political statement. I applaud them. You know one of the things I liked best about our remote? Does it start with a T? It starts with T, and it is T. Ooh, that's another play on words. That's two in one episode. Maybe a record for us. My husband has always made the best tea. Well, we have blown way off course on tonight's show. (laughs) Have we ever? It's so fun. But let's get back to our Aaron knitting project. That's cable knitting for needle curious listeners. What row are we on again? 38. We have 170 more to go. So pick up your knitting and let's work our way through this. Remember, the first few stitches is the ribbed edge. So that's knit one, knit two, knit three, knit four, knit five. And now we're going to switch to stockinette stitches. And since it's the back of the piece, we need to purl. There's so much purling. This part of Erin knitting can be a little boring. But we'll do this together. Look at us. We're bantering again. I hate to crack that whip twice. You're so right. We are giddy today. I don't know where this is coming from. I think it's because of all this delicious tea. It could be the tea. But in all seriousness, let's tackle the rest of this row. Needles up. Pearl. Pearl. Pearl, 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 pearl.